Hi, I'm James Crowhurst from ICT Techie and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the settings in Air Server. So to access the settings you have to go down to the taskbar down here and mine's hidden away so I'm going to click the little arrow and you can see there's my Air Server icon. So if I right click on the icon I get the option to find out about which Air Server version I'm running. To go into the settings, look at the activation or activate air server if I've just brought an activation code, check for updates or turn air server off altogether by clicking exit. I'm going to just look at the settings, so I'm going to press on settings here. And you can see that we get several options. At the moment I'm in the general tab and in general we can change the computer name. And when you've done that, press rebroadcast to make it available to your iPad or Miracast device. You can add a password, tell it to rebroadcast automatically or not. So that means um, that it will make sure that the name's always there and your air server's always running. You can then look at the AirPlay and Miracast settings. So you can disable AirPlay and disable Miracast. Note the little shield means that in Windows you have to give the OK in the Windows account control settings and just when it does that little pop up and you have to say yes allow um, so you can turn either of those off or on if you've already got them turned off then if we look at the audio tab we can choose which device we're going to use for outputting our audio um, normally you don't need to fiddle with these settings but sometimes um, if you've got speakers or a headset, you might want to put it out to a different area. So you can choose the one from there. The display settings, again the same. This is just showing um, my display, but if you had a display plugged in, you might just want to put it to that and not to this display. And then you can also look down at using the refresh rate. So if you have issues of it not refreshing quick enough or it refreshes too quickly, you can change that and you can display the frames per second as well so that tells you how many frames it's showing um, choose whether you want to use accelerated graphics and make it always on top so that means that it's always there on top of whatever else you're running if we go into the mirroring settings now you can optimize it for different quality of video so here I've got 1080p which is full um, high quality HD video but if we click on the down arrow, you can see it goes 720p, iPod, iPad, projector, etc. I'd recommend you just keep it as it is. If your um, network is really slow, you've got quite an old Wi-Fi, you might want to click on the slow network button. That um, just gives it a bit more stability if the Wi-Fi is very slow. Um, likewise here, you've got turn single user mode on, so that prevents anyone else from connecting to your air server system and prevent side-by-side -side mirroring. Um, it, if you are using this in an educational environment you might want to use side-by-side -side mirroring so that you can have your iPad on the screen and the child's iPad on the screen at the same time or several children's iPads on the screen at the same time. Um, so it's quite a useful tool so I'd recommend to keep that on. Um, using If you've got Miracast running you can decide how much buffer it puts there and if we go into the post processing here we can mess about with some of the settings that sharpness brightness contrast saturation hue etc just to um, adapt the screen for your projector or your uh, screen that you're project putting your ipad onto and finally if we're going to advanced here again we can check for updates and say whether we want to automatically check for updates or not and here we can change how it starts up so when we did the install I set it to start up for everybody but I could change that here by turning it off okay and they are the settings in our server thanks for watching and please like subscribe to my videos and check out my other social media channels